Hi, and welcome to this edition of Spotlight Morris County, the program that brings you news and information from the greater Morris County area. Students on campus, members of the community, people doing good things. I'm your host, Ryan Nelson, and today I'm pleased to have as our guest, Professor Maureen Sutton. Professor Sutton chairs the business department here at CCM, and she has come today to tell us about the business degree programs, as well as talk about her background. Thank you for joining us today. Thank you. Awesome. So would you like to start off by telling us a little bit about the business programs here at CCM? Sure. We have two programs. One is called Business Administration and the other is called Business Professional. The Business Administration program is designed for students who plan on transferring to a four-year college upon receipt of their associate's degree and major in a business discipline. The business professional program is designed for students who want to work immediately upon graduation and do not plan on transferring. So the second one is more about a two-year program as opposed to a four-year transferring to a larger university? That's correct. And the major differences between the two programs is that the first program, business administration, the transfer program, that is designed with transfer in mind. And what I mean by that, we have worked with the four-year colleges, especially the state colleges within New Jersey, to ensure that our curriculum is what they are looking for for students upon transferring. The business professional degree is different because we realize that this may be what we call a terminal degree, meaning um, the associate's level could be as far into the education process that a student goes. So therefore, we want to make sure that their general education electives are very applicable to business. We want to make sure that the business courses that they take will prepare them for the workforce. We include in there an internship. And we also include in the business professional program something called tracks, meaning for business elective, students need to choose the area of business they would like to go in. So for example, if you'd like a career in marketing and sales, your business electives would be in that area. That contrasts with our transfer program, business administration, because in that, we really encourage students to take a variety of business electives so they could have a better idea of what they want to major in upon transferring. Sure, so you're trying to make more well-rounded students instead of specializing in certain areas of business. That's right. Awesome. So um, for students that don't really know if they want to go into business yet but show an interest, what are mm -hmm. some courses that you would suggest to start off introductory? Uh, the first recommendation would be introduction to business. This is our survey course. It'll cover a number of areas in business. It will cover human resources, the financial markets, accounting economics, a whole variety of things that will give you a good idea if a business career is a good one for you. Um, also, another good introductory, introductory course is Principles of Marketing. Many students will take that in their first semester, and we have many students in other majors, especially majors like fashion design, for example, that will take marketing because it does relate to what they want to do in their career. Excellent. Seems like a lot of those courses are good for anyone just to get a basis of what they might want to do in business. So mm -hmm. good place to start for students who aren't exactly sure what they want to do yet. And if you think about it, in most careers, most people will be working for a business. So even if you don't major in business, it is a good idea to take a course or, or two so you know the language of business. Yeah, no harm in having the knowledge in case you need it, mm -hmm. of course. So um, I, I have heard about the recent changes in the curriculum mm -hmm. in terms of the certification preparation. 
if you'd like to elaborate a little on that for us. Sure. One course that went through a major redesign is Business Information System. This is a course where we teach the Microsoft Office platform, PowerPoint, Word, and Excel. And one of the things we've done in that class is to incorporate the learning that students would need to know if they decided to go for the Microsoft certification, meaning if they want to uh, take the test so they would be certified. If you look on Indeed.com or Monster.com, many employers are looking for that certification in certain positions. So we thought it would be good to at least offer our students the opportunity to take that test if they choose to. So does that prepare them to take the preparate or the certification test, or does that give them the certification in a uh, an alternate way? No, it prepares them to take the test. Okay, excellent. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, what are some of the indicators of a student that you see that would be well suited to a business degree or should at least show interest in looking down that path as an option? You know, the business field is so wide and varied. Um, so that's a really hard question to answer. So, for example, if you are, if a student is good in math, for example, perhaps a career in accounting or finance would be good. A student who maybe is not interested in math but is very creative or is good in writing, perhaps a career in marketing would be better. A student who knows multiple languages or would like to travel. Um, may be best suited for a career in international business and um, working for a global multinational company. So the nice thing about business, there are so many different opportunities uh, for people of many different skill sets. And I would say like all programs here at CCM, my advice to students is you will do well if you like what you're doing both in school and also at work. So if you're interested in something, that's what you, that's what you should major in because that's going to be the area that you will um, excel in. You'll be interested in and you'll be more engaged in the classroom. That's excellent. So I'm glad that you are there to help the students move along in what they want to do. And it sounds like the changes to the programs to meet the certifications are doing very well. So that's awesome. All right. Thank you. No problem. We're going to take a short break. Please stay tuned, and we'll be back in a moment. Not all County College of Morris students look like me. Some look like me. Or me. Or me. Or me. We all come to CCM at different stages of life. And for different reasons. I plan to transfer to a university. I'm training for a new career as a nurse. But we all know one thing. CCM is where we want to be. So check out the website. Check out the website. Check out the website. And let CCM connect learning and your life. We're back on Spotlight Morris County, and I'm Ryan Nelson. Now we're going to showcase a musical segment produced by students in CCM's broadcasting major.
We're back on Spotlight Morris County with Professor Maureen Sutton. Welcome back. Thank you. Awesome. So what originally drew you to the field of business when you were younger? Anything in particular that led you to take that path? Well, when I started college, I was uncertain what I wanted to major in, and I took a variety of classes. I was thinking about journalism, I was thinking about becoming an English teacher, and I was thinking about business. And so my first two semesters, I took a variety of classes, and the ones I liked the best were economics, accounting, and art history. And so I decided to be an economics major and then minor in art history. I think I would have liked to have majored in art history, but... Uh, really, looking my, back on it? Yeah, but my parents were a little uncertain of what I would do with that degree um, upon graduation. So they, uh, they encouraged me to major in economics. Even looking back on it now, do you wish you had done something different? Or after getting to this point, do you think you're happy with the decision you made? I am happy with the decision that I made. Um, Right after graduation, I got a job at New Jersey Bell, which is now part of Verizon. And I was there for a few years, and then I worked for AT&T for 19 years. And uh, I really enjoyed my career there. They uh, paid for me to go to graduate school, so I got my MBA in international business. I, was, I worked in finance most of my career there in international finance, so I was able to tra uh, travel for AT&T to a number of places, including Hong Kong, Tokyo, London. So I really enjoyed my time there. So no, I, I don't have any regrets. That's excellent. So after them paying for your graduate degree, mm -hmm. did you um, learn anything else along your career there that just from experience that really held to you that made you who you are today? Oh, I learned a lot of things, mostly the importance of teamwork and working with people um, and how much I enjoyed that. Towards the end of my time there, I realized the things that I enjoyed the most was working with younger people, and that's when I started to think about getting a job in education as opposed to staying with uh, AT&T. But um, with respect to teamwork, I saw firsthand at AT&T how we were more successful when people worked collaboratively together and Absolutely. how important that was. Definitely. So what brought you to CCM after working at AT&T for so long? Well, like I said, I was there for 19 years. I was ready for a change. Um, also, I had uh, my daughter, and I decided that um, it would be very difficult to keep doing the job that I was doing um, with a small child. And so I started to think, well, what else could I do? And so I decided to adjunct. So I became a, a part-time teacher at East Stroudsburg University and then at Warren County Community College. Then I got a full-time temporary position at East Stroudsburg. And then um, I saw this job 
uh, advertised at the County College of Mars, an assistant professor job in the business department, and I applied for it and uh, was uh, quite happy that I got it. That's excellent. Mm -hmm. So how long have you been the department chair for the bus business department now? I believe this is my third year as third department year. chair. Have you enjoyed mm -hmm. your time so far? I have. I've enjoyed it a lot. I think I've made a, a difference in the department, at least I hope so, and I've hoped I've helped a lot of students along the way. From what you've told me so far, it seems like you're doing a great job. Any um, specific accomplishments so far that you've made at CCM or even fond memories, happy times that you've had here so far? The thing that makes me the most happiest is when a student approaches me and lets me know that I've made a difference in their life, either in the classroom or through advisement. So for me, it's not the major, like what we call the major initiatives. It's really just making a difference in people's lives. Yeah, I think that means a lot to students that to have a chairman that will, um, a chairwoman that will care more about the individual than the statistics so they'll really help to everyone's specific inclinations and what they want to do. Mm -hmm. I think that's key to success. Well, the nice thing about CCM is the small class sizes and the fact that we as professors, we know our students. Absolutely. And uh, that just makes a huge difference in, in most other colleges where you have class sizes, especially in the introductory classes of two, three hundred students, the professors don't have the opportunity to get to know the, the students. So I think that's a real plus that we have here at CCM. Yeah, it's a lot harder for students to grasp concepts if they're hard to understand. They fall behind easier, but here it's easier to get help from teachers. Mm -hmm. It's great, mm -hmm. it really is. Yeah, the other nice thing about the small class sizes as well is it enables us as professors to do high impact learning, active learning. I do uh, debates in some of my classes. I do game shows, research projects, things that engage the students and allow them to participate in the learning process as opposed to um, traditional lectures are, let's say, more of a passive learning environment. And you really can't do that in large classes and large lecture halls, but for a class of 20 to 30 students, you certainly can. Yeah, and in my opinion, I believe that's more effective that way, so mm -hmm. I think it definitely helps students out. Um, anything else you'd like to add about what you're looking to do in the future with the business department, maybe? or? just a couple of things that you want to advance on? Mm -hmm. uh, one thing we did for the first time this past fall, we did a marketing showcase and we chose a few sections of principles of marketing and we had students work on a marketing plan for a CCM service. So for example, the uh, tutoring center, for example. And so students worked on the marketing plan for the tutoring center, which included things of should there be any changes to the student center, how do we promote it or advertise it, et cetera. And the students worked in teams in that class, and then the team with the best plan and best presentation got to present at the showcase. So we had five separate classes present there, and then the winner of the showcase got a prize. And I. I it was very well received. The, um, the people throughout the campus who attended were um, very impressed with the students who presented their marketing plan. They did an outstanding job. And what I really liked about it, it was a real world experience for our students. They were working on products and services that existed at the campus and were trying to, to make it better. Of so course. I really think it was a good opportunity and that's the type of thing we'd like to continue to do in the business department. Sounds excellent. Thank you for having, we're very thankful to have you today. Uh, if you'd like to learn more about the business programs here at the County College of Morris, you can contact Professor Sutton by emailing msutton at ccm.edu. Thank you for joining us for this week's episode of Spotlight Morris County and we'll see you next time.